Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a progress update for my winter melting basket. So I think I posted this video back in November showing you my gigantic winter melting basket that consisted of two baskets. Um, and we're about halfway through at this point, it's mid January. And I wanted to share with you guys the progress that I've made, kind of just check in on the basket see where I'm at um, and then I thought it also would be fun to do a like check-in at the end of February to see kind of where I'm finishing and decide if I'm going to put the items in my spring melting basket or put the items back in my collection for next winter or what we're going to do so since I'm not making new melting baskets for the month thought it might be fun to do it this way and and just check in on my progress so I have added some things to the basket since we last chatted about my melting basket for the winter. Um, we've had to bring back my bar, so those got added. I got some second and spruce stuff that I put in there, some destination wax. So if I can clearly remember what I've added, I will point it out to you guys when I show you. But I had two baskets <laughs> when we started, and now I'm down to one now one overflowing basket so I, it probably could be split into two to be nicer but it's one overflowing good sized basket so the way i kind of picked wax for this melting basket was i went through all of my vendors i tried to pick some wax from every single vendor some of them i have duplicate of so i just picked one um i really did focus a lot on teddy bees because of the sheer amount of teddy bees that i have i have to like always be focused on my teddy bees or it's going to get out of control. So I have a lot left in here from teddy bees I'll share, but I've also done really well at working through my teddy bees over the last few weeks. Um, so yeah, it's my older wax or it's just wax from each vendor and it's, it's not everything winter. A lot of winter is still in the dressers behind me, unfortunately. Um, but we'll get through what we can get through. So I am going to just show you everything that's left and like I said, try not to go too in depth for every one cent, but show you guys the wax that I have left and the wax that hopefully you'll be able to see in my empties over the next six weeks or so. Um, not really organized by vendor. If I can pull vendors as I see them, I will, but it's all kind of thrown in here and tossed. So like I said, I went from two baskets to one, so I have made a ton of progress. So what's left? I've got just a little bit of Sassadol Aromas at the North Pole left. This is Sweet Peppermint Sticks with a Creamy Rich Vanilla. That's exactly what it is. It is the creamiest vanilla. Oath, I love this scent. This is her Beach Nights blended with roasted pine cone, smoked vanilla, and cookie monster. This is my favorite Beach Nights blends from her. The pine cone, it just, it's second to none. From Hayden Rowe, I still have the loaf of blue sugar vanilla sandalwood. Now that it's getting really cold, I definitely need to bust this out. I love blue sugar when it's really, really cold out in the winter time. Kay's apple butter frosting. Baked apple cinnamon vanilla buttercream. It's her version of Scentsies. It is amazing. Destination Wax Winter's Eve. A label came off, so I stuck it in the bag. A winter evening curled up by a crackling fireplace, balsam, cedar, and wood smoke. These smoky scents from Destination. Do I have any more? Yeah. Here's my... Oh, no, the label came off. This is Scottish Heart. Okay, I'll have to find the label in my bag here, but this one is Scottish Hearth. These scents, these really woodsy, smoky scents from Destination, I love in January, February. So I hope that I'll get good use out of these over the next two months here. This one from Destination is an addition. This was not in my original melting basket. This is Vanilla Balsam. This is Balsam Fir and Cedar, softened by a mellow vanilla. So I just got this in her December RTS and the pour date on the back says it was poured in July. So I thought I would throw this into the winter melting basket, see what I can use up and whatever I use up um, or whatever I have left or if I don't touch it at all, 
I can set it aside for next winter. From Sassarilla Roma, that best Christmas. Pretty sure Summer sent this one to me. This is fresh pine needles, sweet cinnamon sugar, and roasted marshmallow. Let me pull some Scentsy I kind of see on top. I think most of these, not all of them, but most of these are bringing back my bars that I had wanted to melt to see if I want to get more during this month. So definitely need to melt these in January. This is not a bring back my bar, but Homestead Holiday from the Sense of the Season collection. This one's Blood Orange Cinnamon Fur Needle, a great, just classic Christmas scent. And then bringing back my bar, I have Cinnamon. I don't think I'm going to want more of that one, but <laughs> we'll see. Toasted Apple Butter. This one I'm unsure about, so I definitely need to melt that one and give that one a try. Whipped Vanilla Pear. I know I want more of this. I love this scent. I, I cannot wait to melt this one. And then as well as Frosted Ginger Cookie. A repurchase for me. I love this bar. So good. There might be other Scentsy, but... That's everything that I can see for now. I definitely really went through my Scentsy over the last couple of um, couple of months. L3 Waxy Wonders. I have a scoop in blue sugar and zucchini bread. Have not touched that one yet. From Rose Girls, I have a sweater weather. Just the perfect classic winter scent. This one <laughs> is not exactly a winter scent. This is from Lavender and Speckles. This is Strawberry Musk. This is Strawberry Pound Cake blended with Icy Vanilla Woods. I just wanted to melt this the other day, and so I used three buns of it. So instead of, instead of putting it back in my collection, I threw it in my melting basket just to finish off the bag because I just love this scent. So not really winter. I guess the Icy Vanilla Woods is winterish, but... Um, and wasn't originally there, but just a scent I wanted to melt. Another smoky scent from Destination Wax. This one is Wood Smoke. This is a straight up smoky campfire or fireplace scent. It's exactly what it is. It is a very smoky scent. A Bam Bag from Super Tarts in Violet. I love this scent. This is peppermint, cotton candy, and blackberry. Just such a sweet sugary peppermint. So, so good. I have a loaf from Sassarilla Roma and Christmas at Santa's. This guy is two years old, so really need to finish this one up. It still smells so strong though. Pepperberry wreath, sugar cookies, and marshmallow fireside. It's just, this is one of the best scents ever. I love that so much. From Second and Spruce, I did add this to this basket. I got this in the Small Business Saturday giveaway. So North Pole Winds is Cool Minty Breeze with Vanilla. And it's a little piece. I think I could split that into two, like two bathroom warmers. Yeah, it is just a really creamy vanilla. Or a really creamy, like vanilla peppermint, I mean. I did find another Scentsy Caramel Sugar Cone from Bring Back My Bar. Yeah, I definitely need to melt this because I'm unsure. I'm cold if I like that or not. I found my Scottish Hearth <laughs> label, so I should put that one back on the bag. From the Melted Moose, I have Birch Please. This is Crackling Birch and Iced Vanilla Woods. This is another one that I added from a second in Spruce. This is Smoked Eggnog. This one is Eggnog Mala Fireside and Smoked Vanilla. Oh my gosh. So delicious. And I think... I don't know. All the rest of this is Teddy Bees. So again, I had like double this amount of Teddy Bees originally. So I do feel like while this is a lot, I have gone through a lot. So that's been great. So I started working on one of my loaves of I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. So this is I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apples, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. I love this scent so much, you guys. So a loaf probably takes me like three to four melts to, to use it up. So use this once. So I probably need at least two more times of using it to finish this, but no rush. I love this scent so much. I also have iced woods and sweet birch. This is icy vanilla woods, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, marshmallow fireside blended with a bit of birch wood. Yum. 
his. So this is a new addition. I just got this in her last RTS. This is Blue Sugar, Marshmallow Fireside, and Palo Santo. This was poured in July though, so I feel like it's it's good and ready. Blue Sugar for me is definitely a winter scent, so I wanted to melt it and hopefully use it this winter. Oh my gosh, this one is amazing. I have not yet tried this on warm, so so excited, but love that one from cold. Campfire Stories. This is the one that Natalie got me on. I think I've I've used one loaf and I've got two more. Um, this is Ooey Gooey S'mores, Cold Night Winds, and Sweet Vanilla Woods. I can't believe this was poured in March. Like, I can't believe it's almost been a year since I've gotten this. Like, time just flies. Weekend with Papa. This is Salty Sea Air, Vanilla Bean Noel, Toasted Marshmallows, Blended with Roasted Pine Cones. Anything Roasted Pine Cone is very winter-esque to me. I've got... tell an old bag of the Riverlands mm, this is so good if I don't use this this winter this can definitely go on my spring one as well Palo Santo cool mountain air balsam patchouli crisp melon cedar crunchy leaves and sandalwood like this really is fall winter and spring to me when was this poured uh, this one's a year and a half old so I should prioritize prioritize this one but Smells really nice. The Night Before Christmas. This is Flannel Sheets, Warm Cashmere Vanilla, blended with the scent of Christmas trees. This is a very laundry-esque scent to me. Like the flannel really comes out, so you really can melt this all, all year. You know, it, it seems very Christmassy based on the names and the note of the Christmas tree, but it's pretty much all flannel sheets. So I should start working on this. This is a year and a half-ish old, but um, it is a scent that I feel like you could go year round. So I'll probably definitely move that over to my spring melting basket if I don't finish it this winter. All right, lots of tubs to finish us off. <laughs> so I've got Christmas trees and cream. Of course, this is Fresh Pine Vanilla Waffle Cone and Rift Buttercream. I'm obsessed with that scent. I have Winterfell, and the notes on this label are not correct, but it's Palo Santo, like an icy scent. Just really, really good. Similar to Carter, if you got Carter in her last pre-order. Christmas Cookies. This one is baked cookies, powdered sugar, buttercream, pine, and warm spices. The North. The North is vanilla balsam type, palo santo, marshmallow fireside type, and a hint of smoldering firewood. I love that scent. Oh my goodness. I heart vanilla peppermint. Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Marshmallow and Magnolias, blended with Creamy Peppermint Candy. House of Dragons. Palo Santo, Vanilla Balsam, Falling Leaves, Peppermint, and a Hint of Cinnamon. Pacific Northwest Winter. I think this is my number one favorite tree scent. It is so, so good. Fresh snow, pine sap, fresh mistletoe, vanilla balsam, the slight hint of cranberries, and burning fireplaces off in the distance. Valkyrie. This is cashmere cream, vanilla snowflake, the Bath and Body Works type, and Palo Santo. And then lastly is over the hill and through the woods. Christmas trees and cream blended with warm apple cider. You really get both those notes. You get the, the tree, but also the apple cider. Delicious. But that is it. That is my status update for my winter melting basket. I will say, I, I feel like I've gone through about half of it so far. So I feel like looking at it piece by piece really makes me feel like I have a lot left, which I do. But I also know that I have gone through a lot. So we're going to see what I'm able to finish. My focus is definitely on the Teddy B stuff. 
and probably those destination wax loaves because if I let those go until next winter, they'll be like two and a half years old. And I think that could be just a touch too old, but everything else, we'll just kind of see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my kind of progress update for my winter melting basket. We'll see what I'm able to finish over the next couple of weeks before we transition to spring stuff in March. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.